Hello everyone, it's another Financial Friday. This time, I'm going to share this video in a slightly different way. One of my subscribers suggested that I add a voiceover to my videos and I thought I would try that to make it easier for you, my viewers. Please let me know in the comment section if you prefer the one with voiceover or the usual silent vlog that I normally do. Thank you. Today is a beautiful Friday and I will do my regular chores. Today I will be preparing Lumpiang Shanghai for the kids. Join me as I go about my day. And as I do that, let's chat about this week's Financial Friday topic, credit scores. First, let us define what a credit score is. A credit score is a number assigned to a person that indicates its capacity to repay a loan. Basically, a credit score is a representation of your relationship with debt. Ideally, we need to have a credit score of about 660 to 900 to be considered good or excellent. Anything below that prompts lenders to take more precautions when approving your loan. A credit score is not an indication of financial success. You can have a million dollars in your bank account and have a bad credit score because one of the loan applicants you co-signed screwed up and got your credit tarnished. I would say that one's net worth is a better indication of financial success, reiterating of course that your net worth is not a measure of your self-worth. When talking about credit scores, it's always good to understand the different factors affecting your credit. The first one is repayment history. I would say that this is one of the most important things that lenders look at. Having late payments or delinquencies in your credit report creates a red flag to lenders. No late payments will be reported only if you pay your bills on due date. Paying them a few days after the due date might still be okay, but waiting for a month or more will certainly have an effect on your credit report. So make sure to pay your bills on time. The second factor is utilization ratio. Your credit score is affected by your utilization ratio. What this means is the amount of credit you use in relation to your available balance. A maxed out credit card looks really bad in the eye of a lender. Ideally, you want to use your credit card and pay it in full on due date. When you start carrying a balance on your credit card, less than 30% would be ideal. But once it surpasses more than 50% utilization, it can start to have an impact on your credit score. So make sure to keep the balance low. Unfortunately, this is where a lot of people are having trouble with. You know, it's so easy to swipe a credit card than to actually pay it in full. Having just one credit card with low limit is ideal for young people who are intending to build their credit. Having one credit card with a $500 limit on it should be sufficient enough. That way, if you end up carrying a balance, it will be easier to pay it off because of the small amount. Be mindful that credit cards are only used to build your credit. And it's not a free money that you can use to splurge on shopping or travel.
It's also not a good idea to treat it as an emergency fund. There should be a separate savings for that. The third factor affecting credit scores is multiple credit applications in short periods of time. For example, if you are applying for a mortgage right now, it's not a good idea to also apply for a car loan. And if you apply for a credit card at one bank, make sure you don't apply for another credit card at another bank right away. Ideally, you only need one credit card and a cell phone bill to build your credit. If you do require a car, your car payment will be an added trade line which can also boost your credit as long as you keep all of them in good standing. Having at least two trade lines in your credit report for a good amount of time, maybe a year, should be good enough to build your credit score. Having less debt also means you have less payments to manage. Even if you have a ton of lending facilities under your name, but they are not in good standing, then your chance of getting approved for a mortgage or any lending facility will be quite tough. Before building your credit, focus first on building your net worth. That's it my friends for our Financial Friday episode. I hope you find this video helpful. And uh, please let me know if you did enjoy this video with a voiceover. What I'm thinking is do one with a voiceover every Friday for the Financial Friday episode and one silent vlog every Monday for the Minimalist Monday episode. Please let me know what you think. Thank you so much once again everyone and you have a great weekend.